this video I'm going to show you how you can use a controller like this launch pad and use it to trigger MIDI effects. The software I'm going to be using is Shaperbox 2 by Cable Guys. First we need to create another audio track. This needs to be set to auto and then we need to arm it. Then we need to think about what parts we want to apply the effects to, so let's just solo them out. Then change the output from master to audio 7. On the audio track we created is where I'm going to put shape box 2. And let's just add a bit more music. Okay, so first I'm going to set up a time. And this is going to act as a kill switch for the effects, just to return it back to normal. So we're not going to change anything, we're just going to leave it like that. These are the MIDI triggers at the bottom, so let's make sure we turn them on. And let's save that in, you can see it says C sharp. And let's also turn on the MIDI trigger. Okay, now to make that work, we need to create a MIDI track. I'm going to get the input from the launch pad, and I'm going to send the output of that into the audio track we created. Let's also make sure we arm that. Now I'm going to switch to use mode on the launch pad. And I'm going to load up a pad. And you can see when I press the MIDI controller that is C sharp on the launch pad, it instantly goes back to the one we saved. There is also a one shot which we can use. We'll work on the C, which is the bottom left button on the launch pad. So let's use this to create a four bar one shot. Now although that says D, it's not actually going to play, and it'll only play when you press C, and it'll only play once. Okay, so I'm also going to add another plugin. I'm going to use Whip Shaper and I'm going to use this to make it go into mono towards the end. That's making it go stereo so I'm going to quickly flip it over, maybe adjust it a bit. I'm also going to make sure I set that to the same amount as 4 bars and also a one shot. And then I'm going to save that curve as well. You can obviously spend a lot more time doing this and make sure you get something sounding really tight. And now they're set up, you can see I can trigger them using my launch pad. This is great for some live freestyle action. Don't forget, this technique can be used in many ways with many plugins. 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 I keep on listening to your love.